Hello and welcome to another episode of the TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week with me, Craig Barton. Now, I'm going to say straight away from the outset, if you are studying for the uh, OCR GCSE or the AQA GCSE, then you can relax. In fact, you don't even need to watch the rest of this video because what I'm going to show you is exclusive to Edexcel. However, you might want to stick around because it's a lovely piece of mathematics. Because what we're looking at here is the capture recapture, or some people call it the Pearson capture recapture method of sampling. And this is brand new to Edexcel's GCSE specification. But it might not be brand new to, to you as a teacher. I, I'm pretty sure, I haven't got the evidence on this, but I'm pretty sure I studied this back when I was in school. But I think maybe I did it in biology instead of actually um, in mathematics. And indeed, if you do a Google search for capture, recapture resources or a test search, they tend to come up more science resources than maths. And that's often the way with these brand new GCSE topics. Um, until we get a couple of years into the GCSE and until we start to see exactly what the kind of questions look like and the demands are, there aren't that many top quality resources out there for the new topics. So anytime I come across one um, that is good quality, I think flipping heck, I've got to bank this and let's also share it with people in Resource of the Week. So after that rambling introduction, here we have Capture Recapture, which has been uh, created by one of my favorite authors on TESS, Danny D. Now I don't know how you say it, Danny the Ref, I'm gonna go for there. Um, and it consists of a power, well, two PowerPoints, but one of which is, is to be used as a worksheet. Um, and they look like this. So if I give it a little, uh, little open and we go to the top, you get a lovely uh, widescreen PowerPoint here. Um, and it's, as the author says, it's, he's not aiming to do anything specially. It's just a really simple way that you can use to introduce students to this method. So I like this, it opens up with a nice little uh, kind of question. It doesn't dive straight into the method. It gets students to think about how would they actually do this. And then it links to where it's from. There you go, Peterson uh, came up with it. Then there's an embedded video, but as the author says, um, it's with Flash. We all know Flash can be a bit funny. So there's a YouTube link there. And what does it go to? Well, it's only the legend that is Johnny Ball doing a little uh, little cameo here, explaining how he would use the capture recapture to estimate the number of black cabs in London. It's a really nice video, provides a really good introduction to it there. And then we get into it. So a really nice slide that just outlines the method then we get a couple of worked examples this is an algebraic way of doing it then again this is the beauty of powerpoints is of course if you don't want to do it this way just delete it put in your own or better still uh, just get the kids up and um, to the front writing different methods down discussing different methods and so on um, a second method there I think this is Cameron and snails are involved with this one and then we get the link to the resource now this is probably my favorite bit of this this is a code breaker activity and it consists of eight different capture recapture worded questions the answer of which you then look it up on the uh, on the code and you get a classic joke and um, I love jokes obviously but what I like more about this is just the questions because this is a new topic and there aren't that many questions out there and yet here we have eight original wordy questions that kids need to get used to and need to get familiar with and um, in order to absolutely nail this topic so there it is it's, it's a dead dead simple resource but a really really good resource and um, in terms of um, extension or development from this or, or even as a different way to introduce it and um, I was thinking that capture recapture lends itself brilliantly to get and get and get in a bag chucking a load of uh, colored counters in there maybe like a load of uh, red counters and just a few blue counters as many as you can get and doing a live version of a capture recapture experiment get the kids to pick out 10 counters count how many red are and um, stick it in tell them how many counters there are and, and actually live do the capture recapture to estimate how many um, blue counters there are in a bag and um, so it would work really nicely for that but look this lesson um, kind of runs itself it's really well structured really well resourced and i think it's excellent for teaching this topic that will be brand new to a lot of teachers and certainly brand new to a lot of students so there you go if you've used it and you like it hop back onto the resource page leave a little review and i'll return with a fresh resource of the week uh, next week take care of yourselves bye for now